Ow! Jeez! Ow! This is violent! Welcome or welcome back to Sustainable Sierra YouTube channel. If this is your first time visit, hi, welcome, hello, my name is Sierra and I'm an American living in England. Every week I make a new video about my family's life here and whatever it is that we have to be doing on the weekly. In today's video, as you guys can tell, I'm doing another one of my famous Lush unboxings and you guys already know what the title is. Today is my Lush Boxing Day haul, which is a long, long time coming because just like last year, I was feeling not so great the day after Christmas and so I wasn't able to do the Lush Boxing Day um, sale in store. However, for the first time in I think like three or four years, Lush UK actually had a Boxing Day sale online, which is very exciting. So I got up really early and I got this monster. Um, and it just arrived at my door today. Today is January 10th. And so it's been what, like 15 days since I placed the order, but apparently there was some big mix up with some of the products on the site and nobody got their packages until today. Also, I wanted to point out I am going to do actually a part two of my Boxing Day haul because I also ordered some stuff from Lush Canada, so that should be here at some point. So I'll do a part two unboxing at some point, hopefully this month, so we will see how that goes. Let's start to unbox this massive box. As you guys know how the sale goes, things sell out really quickly as the website is constantly updating. So at a certain point when you get to the end of the process when you're about to pay, sometimes it doesn't go through and you have to remove items. And so I honestly have no idea what's inside this box. I know it's all items that I like. I know that it's all items that were from the Christmas range and or were discontinued or for some reason put on the 50% off because they had a lot of backstop of it. I don't really know, but uh, we're gonna open this together and see what is inside. Ow, jeez. Oh, this is violent. I think I should have gotten like the actual box cutter instead of scissors. Here we go. Unboxing time. Also, one more thing as I'm doing this unboxing, I usually in my videos describe all of the products as I'm pulling them out and describe the sense and everything, but because um, this is the Box the Day haul video and most of the stuff is Christmas, if it's not Christmas, I'll tell you about it. Uh, the only reason for that is because of the fact that one, this video might be super long, and two, I've already done a Christmas range unboxing, which I describe all the scents in, and I actually got some feedback back on this last year about how you guys felt that wasn't necessary. So yeah, anyways, let's unbox this. Okay, first item out of the box for this Box and Day haul is a very long large bottle of Wasabi Shan Kui shampoo, which is not actually a discontinued item I had heard. Um, maybe this one, according to my store, and I was in recently, apparently this went on offer because of, there was a lot um, back stock from manufacturing. But anyways, Wasabi Kwan Ki is a product I've used quite a few times and I really like it, but for some reason I never purchased it before and when I saw it half bought, I just had to have it. Wasabi Kwan Ki is, as it sounds, a wasabi-based shampoo and it also has a bit of caffeine in it, but the whole point of this shampoo is it's supposed to um, stimulate the scalp and kind of, um, in not, it doesn't make your hair grow, but scalp stimulation can encourage hair growth. So um, I want even longer hair than I have now. I know some of you guys watching think I'm crazy, but I want even longer, like more luscious, thicker hair than I have now. So I'm hoping this is gonna help me out with that. It smells like wasabi with fruit, oddly enough, in it, um, which is a really weird smell combination, but believe it or not, it actually smells really good. I think it's a citrus oil of some kind. Let me see, it is lemon oil, rose oil, sweet orange oil and lemon juice and menthol crystals. So the menthol along with this wasabi, you know, kind of gives you like that scalp stimulation kind of feel. Next item out of the box is a gift set and it is actually the Christmas Wishes gift set, which um, usually I don't buy gift sets for myself with the exception of Boxing Day, unless there's a limited edition item in there. Um, and that reason I buy them for Boxing Day is because sometimes it's a little bit easier to get the products that you want in a gift set because people are more wor worried about getting individual items and not thinking as much on the gift set. So the Christmas Wishes gift set has a handful of things in it. I'll put up in a picture right here so you'll see which one it is. But um, on the inside it has a small pot of Dream Cream body lotion, a partridge in a pear tree bath bomb, a golden angel bullet bar, a sweet pudding bath bomb, a shoot for the stars bath bomb, which is actually one of my favorites. Um, I didn't buy any this year because I had a horde of them, but I used a lot of them this Christmas. And it also has a snow bear soap. Anyways, we're gonna move on to the next item. It is... Another gift set from me to me. See, this is what I love about Boxing Day. It's like the time where it's acceptable to buy gifts for yourself because it's easier. Anyway, uh, the night before Christmas gift set is very pretty, by the way. I think I'm gonna have to keep it inside the packaging as long as possible because it is so pretty. But inside the gift set, once again, I will um, put the items up here. It has 
a shoot for the stars bath bomb and a twilight bath bomb which i really love um i wasn't able to get a hold of any of the shoot for the stars individually they were already sold out so i got the gift set and it has been quite a while since i got a twilight bath bomb which is the sleepy scent and i love it oh boy okay here's another one all right another big one this size of this like absolutely is like but this item is discontinued and it's my new favorite conditioner from Lush which actually makes it really sad it's discontinued but it is the Aga's Silver Conditioner and yes it is a liter this is the biggest volume of conditioner I think I've ever purchased but the Aga's Silver Conditioner I've talked about it before I have blonde hair as you guys can see it helps take the brassiness out of it and I love it and it smells like delicious plums but they're discontinuing it which is really unfortunate because I love their silver conditioner and I love the smell of it. So the good news is I was able to get this very, very large bottle for half price, which is awesome. Okay, next item is a little tiny one and it is the Cinnamon Sticked Lip Oil. Cinnamon Sticked Lip Oil is not something that I originally picked up when I did my haul um, because I wasn't sure if I would like it, but I was on a roll adding everything to my cart and I really wanted to give it a try. So I'm going to open it now and give it a little smell. Um, I mean, it's sure it's going to be like a cinnamon chapstick, but we're going to give it a smell anyway. Yeah. Although it's not just cinnamon stick. It kind of smells a little bit fruity to me. Let's see what's in here that makes it fruity. It is Brazilian orange oil. There we go. So it's like a cinnamon orangey lip balm. Heck yes. We're still going. Ooh, something real squishy is in there. Anyway, and this is the Christmas cranberry soap, which you guys saw in my other haul. I just really love the smell. It's just so good. So I had to have some more of it. Okay. Actually, I think I tried to get every single one of the Lush soaps and there could be more in here, but I have no idea. So anyway, next item out of the box is actually something that Mr. got me for Christmas, which is fine. Um, if you love it and you get it for Christmas, why wouldn't you want one more? And that is the Lord of Misrule candle. Uh, Lord of Misrule candle uh, came out for, I think it was Halloween. Maybe it was Christmas. I don't know, but I'm sure you guys have seen it before and I got one for Christmas, but it's one of my favorite scents. So I needed just one more because it was half off. So Oh, so good. Am I the only one who burns these candles and uses this lotion and shower gel all year round? Please let me know in the comment section if I'm crazy or maybe I'm just like a fall Christmas fiend. I don't know. But anyways, moving on. Next item from the box is actually a pair of items and it is a pair of the Lord of Misrule gift set, which this one doesn't look so pretty. Um, so we're going to show you guys this one. But the Lord of Miss Rule gift set is a gift set with two items in it. And I think it is the shower gel and the bath bomb. Yes, that's right. Um, I wasn't able to get a hold of any of the bath bombs that I wanted. So I got the gift set and figured I would just have lots and lots of shower gel. Because there's no such thing as too much Lord of Miss Rule shower gel. You guys, I think this very well might be the end of the box. But I almost missed my lip oil in here. So I have to be really thorough in checking. According to my little invoice... Um, I thought I had a lot more products in here, but it turns out a ton of them actually were not available, which is very sad. But uh, it looks like that's all of my products that I ordered or ended up getting through for the Lush Boxing Day haul. So it's kind of disappointing. I thought that I ended up getting more, but that's okay. I'm excited about everything that I got. So yeah, that's it. That's the end of my little Boxing Day haul unboxing part one. Um, there is going to be a part two, as I mentioned earlier, because I did order a box from Canada. But it's going to take a few more weeks to get here, so stay tuned to see how that goes. But otherwise, that's it. That's the end of the unboxing. I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Merry Christmas one more time, and that's it. Bye.